Yo, what's going on YouTube? Just JK and welcome back to my channel for another GTA 5 video. And today's video, we're going to be customizing and reviewing the brand new, currently unreleased vehicle, the Bravado Gauntlet Hellfire. And I say currently unreleased at the time of recording this video because it is at the moment um, being held back as drip feed um, from the casino and resort DLC. And as you can see, man, this is fucking beautiful. I've waited so long for an upgraded version of the Gauntlet in GTA for so long because even though the Gauntlet's okay looking, it isn't great at all. It is pretty weak in its design. And with it being based on a Challenger from real life, uh, the original Gauntlet is very, very weak in its design, like I've already said. Um, but this Hellfire, man, this looks awesome. So without any further ado, let's get this in to the customs. And let's see what we can do to this bad boy. So as you can see, guys, as we pull into the customs, you can see the Hellfire is obviously going to be in the muscle category. And like I've already said, this is currently um, not released in GTA because it is being held back as drip feed. I am on PC today and using mod menus, I've been able to spawn it in. And uh, like I've already said on the outside, it looks amazing looks awesome so let's get on with this build so we're going to start with 100 percent body armor as always then we're going to go to the brakes we're going to get the race brakes and we've got the bumpers front bumper what we got we've got the primary splitter we can change that from uh, a black to the color coded then we've got the secondary which is going to obviously change to the secondary color the carbon version the secondary front bumper and these all look exactly the same which is pretty disappointing to be fair. Mm. Yeah, I'm, I'm not really um, blown away by the, the front bumper options, which is a little bit disappointing. So I suppose we're just going to go with a carbon splitter. For the rear bumper, we've only got one option, and that is a wheelie bar and uh, the parachute. Uh, I don't think we'll be having that. I think it looks a bit funky, so we're going to be leaving that. We've got the engine. We're going to grade, upgrade that to the level four. Then we've got the exhausts. We've got the big bores, tuna, race, and the side exit, and the titanium side exit. Again, not blown away by the options. Um, so I think I'm just going to go with the tuna exhausts. They look pretty cool. Then we go down to the grill. We've got the grill delete. Mm, yeah, that looks a bit odd. We've got the secondary grill, which is the same as the first one. <laughs> uh, then we've got the black grill, the primary open. That looks pretty cool. Uh, the secondary open, and then the black open. Man, these these options are, are really weak. I'm quite disappointed with the amount of, or well, the lack of customization we can do to this car. Uh, it's just as well that it looks beautiful from stock, I suppose. And then we've got the headlight covers. Uh, yeah, not a fan of these. I mean, we've got more options for the headlights than we have for anything else so far. That's oh my god, what is that's nah, uh uh, what the fuck is that? Well, at least we get the ball bars, that's something, I suppose. Because now we can do Letty's Challenger from I think it's Fast 7, I think it's Fast 7, where Letty's got a um. A challenger a black and lime green one so now we've got the ball bars we can make a, re a remake a better version of that using the hellfire which is a saving grace i suppose but other than that not blown away by the customization so far then we've got the hood uh, we can smooth it we've got the secondary the carbon uh, the ones with the vents secondary with the vents carbon with the vents Oh cool, then we get a, uh, a big block, which is, I like that, the work and belt at the front, it looks awesome. Uh, yeah, so I think the best option, oh that would be cool if the intakes actually work on that as well, if they flap backwards and forwards, that would be pretty cool. I'm going to buy that, just to see if that does work when you accelerate. Oh and it does! Oh my god, <laughs> yes! Oh, the, the little things in life make you happy. That is amazing, love that. That's the best customization that we've done to this car so far. Everything else has been pretty weak up until that point. Uh, we're going to skip past the horn. We're going to go to the lights. We're going to get the Xeon headlights. Uh, we're going to skip the neon kit. Now liveries. We've got quite a few liveries. Uh, we've got the dual white. And then we've got a dual red. Dual blue. And then a Bravado billboard. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I'm not, not a big fan of that one. It looks a bit weird. Hmm. 
I th ooh, I think that is the livery we would need for Letty's charger as well. Not charger, sorry, challenger. Yeah, I think that's the that's the livery we'd need for Letty's challenger. So the, Letty's um, challenger build is definitely coming, man, because it looks like we can make a pretty close replica of it using this Hellfire, which is awesome. That is, wow. <clears throat> yeah. Not really sure what that's, is that supposed to be like a poly or Polynesian inspired design on that? It looks a bit weird uh, on a car. <laughs> so I think we'll skip past that. Uh, the, you know, the dual white stripes actually look pretty smart, but I think it looks better as it is, you know, nice and clean. So we're going to leave it like that. Uh, the plate we're going to skip. Rear panels. Oh, okay. See, again, I think, wow, that's odd. I think it looks better blacked out but because we've got the carbon front splitter we're going to get the carbon rear panel then we're going to go to a respray primary color we're going to go metallic and we're definitely going to change it to something popping nothing black or white it's going to have to be something crazy that looks pretty cool the lava red and metallic that looks pretty awesome sort of like a ready orange color so we're going to go with that and we're also going to go with the same color for the secondary then we get an option for trim color and uh, as you can see it's just the interior and we're just gonna oh actually we're gonna change it from black steel to we're gonna go graphite then we've got the option of a roll cage uh, the roll cages actually look pretty cool and they changed the seats as well that's nice i like that i like that i like that a lot i like it a lot the roll cage doesn't change but the seats do so that's pretty cool Oh, sorry, the roll cage does change because we've got the ones with the pattern. The one at the top is just standard, then it goes to the padded ones, then it just changes the bucket seats on the inside. That's cool. Uh, I think we're going to go with a uh, the cage in the drag seats. That looks pretty sweet, man. Then we've got the roof, and we're going to we gonna give it a carbon roof. Then we've got a carbon splitter, a carbon panel. Um, no, I think it looks better without the carbon roof. Next, we've got the skirts, we've got the primary and the secondary. Uh, <laughs> just go with the primary. It's cheaper and exactly the same. Spoilers. We've got loads of options for spoilers, uh, which is quite nice to see. The carbon one is most fitting so far, but the stock wing, wing actually looks really good. I like that. Um, that is really weird. No, 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 none of them. I think the stock car one actually looks the best. So we're going to go with that. And then we've got the suspension. I'm going to get the competition suspension, transmission. We're going to get a race transmission. And for the turbo, we're going to get turbo tuning. Now for the wheels, the stock wheels are actually really cool, man. I don't think I'll, I'll really want to change them um, because I don't think there's going to be anything which is going to be any better, in my opinion. Um, obviously, you've seen them all before. We haven't got any new wheels added into the game. And I'm quite confident that no wheel is going to look better than these ones plus we get the little red trim around the outside which is sweet so we're going to keep them and can we change the wheel no we can't change the wheel color tires tire enhancements bulletproof tires were already purchased which is awesome tire design we can't get any of that so that's all good next we've got the windows and um, to finish it off we are going to get the light smoke window tint and i think that is it my dudes let's get back onto the street and see how it looks and as it pulls out of ls customs you can see this beast is beautiful not blown away with the customizations like i've already said um but it is an awesome looking car from stock anyway and the fact that we've got that big block with the working belt and the working intake that is awesome man i love that that is a really nice touch to it and it seems fucking fast it seems fast hang on a minute let me get my speedo up and um see what sort of speed we can get out of it so yeah so that's now enabled as you can see it's in the top right it's not very clear so keep an eye out for it we'll go go in a straight line for a little while and see how quickly we can get up to maybe a hundred you know we're now at 80 90 100 wow <laughs> that that didn't take long at all man so it's got very very good acceleration it seems quite light on the steering as well, which is nice. Handling seems really, really nice. Let's go around this corner, just nothing crazy. But it holds in really well. Doesn't want to slide out. Yeah, it sticks in, which is quite nice for a muscle car because notoriously muscle cars aren't great in the corners. But it seems good, man. Seems all good. 
rapid rapid acceleration good in the corners it bops and dives bops and weaves really nicely you could even pull a little little slidey around the corner and I would have made it if it wasn't for that prick coming into my lane then but now nah, man I'm really happy with the way this car is and I've got god mode on this by the way so that's why you won't see any damage because we don't want to mess up our car <laughs> But yeah, man, I'm, I'm really happy with the way this looks. I'm not overly sure how much this is going to cost in, um, I think it's Legendary Motorsports because obviously it's not out yet. I've just um, spawned it in from the from the mod menu and um, you don't get any prices with that. So I'm not sure how much it is going to cost. But if you're a, a fan of the Challenger, I'd buy it, man, straight up. I'm going to buy this on my PS4 account 100% once it comes out. Um, I love the way it looks. It is awesome that it's, it looks great, great from stock. Because, like I said before, a couple of times in this video, the customizations aren't great. Um, but the little things I have done, um, like the, the the stock wing at the back there, and the the big block at the front with a work and intake, I love that. And the work and belt, you know, that's fucking awesome. And it's good in the corners. It's good weaving through cars. And the acceleration is fucking mint. I mean, we're at 90 just like that. Let's see, let's see if we can push it a little bit more. I think it hit 115, going over bumps. So it's all good, man. It's all gravy, baby. And I'm loving this car. So I'd highly recommend buying this car. Um, definitely. Not Like I said, I'm not sure how much it is going to be um, on release. But if you're a fan of the Challenger in real life, or a fan of the Gauntlet from... The original gauntlet from this game I'd, gra I'd grab it. it is definitely going to be worth the money but anyway guys that's going to be the end of the video hope you guys did enjoy if you did hit that like button if you haven't already wanted to subscribe to my youtube channel for more gta videos like this and until next time i'm out adios